हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी गोइंग स्टार्ट टॉपिक सोलो मॉडल पार्ट सिक्स गोल्डन रूल लेवल ऑफ कैपिटल कंपेयरिंग स्टडी स्टेट्स to keep our analysis simple let's assume that a policy maker can set economy saving rate at any level by setting the saving rate the policy maker determine the economy steady state but the question is what steady state should the policy maker choose the policy maker goals is to maximize the well being of the individual who make up the society individual themselves do not care about the amount of capital in the economy or even the amount of output they care about the amount of goods and services they can consume Thus, a benevolent policy maker would want to choose the steady state with the highest level of consumption. Okay. The steady state value of capital per worker that maximizes. consumption is called the golden rule level of capital and is denoted by k star gold <coughs> how can we tell whether an economy is at the golden rule level to answer this question we must first determine steady state consumption per worker and then we can see which steady state provide the most consumption provide the highest level of consumption to find the steady consumption per worker we begin with the national income account identity which is y equal to c plus i output per worker equal consumption per worker plus investment per worker in the next step we can write it as c is equal to y minus i next step y can be written as a function of capital per worker minus in investment saving fk at steady state we know that steady state value the uh, capital value per per worker ke uh, steric consumption is represented as c star also at steady state amount of investment eco equal the amount of depreciation we next step we write as c steric is equal to f into k star minus delta k star the amount of steady is steady state equal the amount of depreciation equal clear and this is equa uh, equation for steady state equation according to this equation steady state consumption is what left of steady state output after paying for steady state depreciation what left of output after paying the steady state depreciation this equation shows that an increase in steady state capital has two opposing effect on steady state consumption let's see how if steady state capital increases it will have two opposing effect first one is with the increase in steady state capital 
स्टेटिस स्टेट आउटपुट विल बी इंक्रीज बिकॉज स्टेटिस स्टेट आउटपुट इज ए फंक्शन ऑफ कैपिटल स्टेटिस स्टेट इंक्रीज विल बी कैपिटल इंक्रीज स्टेटिस स्टेट डिप्रिसिएशन विल इंक्रीज बिकॉज दी नो दैट द स्टेट स्टेट इट इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट रिप्रेजेंट डेप्रिसिएशन सो इफ डेल्टा अपॉन विद द इंक्रीज इन द केस आर द अमाउंट ऑफ डेप्रिसिएशन विल आल्सो इंक्रीज बट इंक्रीज इन स्टेट स्टेट आउटपुट विल लीड टू इंक्रीज इन स्टेट स्टेट कंजम्पन हाउ एवर increase in steady uh, depreciation will lead to decrease in steady steady state consumption you can also observe this conclusion from this formula that an increase in steady state output increase steady state consumption increase in will lead to decrease in will lead to decrease in steady state consumption increase in steady state has two opposing effect on steady state consumption and other side uh, one side is increase in consumption and other side is consumption decreases here we have to access on the horizontal axis we have taken steady state capital per worker <coughs> represented by k star and the and on the vertical axis steady state output and depreciation <laughs> represent this is our steady state output represented function of steady state capital and this is steady state depreciation uh, represented and delta k star this the gap between two curve represented steady state consumption but steady state consumption will be maximum at k star gold there is one level of capital at which steady state level will be maximum that k level is k star gold and maximum consumption will see star gold now let's see two cases if steady state capital gold less than capital golden that means we are talking about this portion this one in this case if k star increases then it will have to impacts that is it that is lead to steady state increasing amount of depreciation in this case steady state output increase in output steady state will be larger will be larger amount of increase in depreciation and final result will be increase in steady state consumption increase in c star you can notice in this portion that production function is steeper than this depreciation line due to which an increase in case are will lead to increase in the cap gap will between two curve believe the golden rule steady state increase steady state capital raise steady state capital rise steady state consumption now let let's see the second case if k star k star greater than k star gold we are talking about this portion this one in this case increase in k star will have to impact first one is 
इंक्रीज इन स्टेटिस स्टेट आउटपुट एंड सेकेंड वन इज इंक्रीज इन स्टेट स्टेट डेप्रीसीशन इंक्रीज एंड डेप्रीसीशन विल बी लार्जन विल बी लार्जन आउटपुट एंड द फाइनल रिजल्ट विल बी डिक्रीज इन स्टेट स्टेट कंजम्पन you can notice in this portion that production function is flatter than this depreciation line due to which an increase in case case star will lead to reduction between two two curve will be reduced we can write above the golden rule steady state increases in steady state capital reduce steady state consumption at the golden rule level of capital slope of production function equal to slope of cat depreciation line only an k star gold that is production function and depreciation line both curves will have the same slope and we can find their slope as derivative of production function with respect to k star equal to derivative of delta k star is equal to k star marginal product of capital is equal to will be equal to delta delta is represent and depreciation we assume that constant so we can write at the golden rule of capital the marginal product of capital equal to the depreciation rate and mpk is equal to delta therefore the following condition describe the golden rule mpk minus delta is equal to 0 at the golden rule level of capital the marginal product of cap not depreciation mpk minus delta equal 0 keep in mind that the economy does not automatically gravitate towards the golden rule steady state if we want any particular steady state capital stock such as the golden rule we need a particular saving rate to support it in this figure we k star gold then there should be particular saving rate to support it this is the our investment function you can notice that is written as gold function of k star x that is a particular saving rate to support the golden rule of capital this portion will be written as i star gold so we can write to reach the golden rule steady state the economy needs the right saving rate that is as gold now we can see two cases first one is saving rate greater than as gold and that situation our investment function will shift upward and this will lead to k star will be larger than golden rule of capital in the same way if the saving rate is less than as gold then this investment function will shift downward due to which k star less than k star golden rule of capital however in both the situation in both the cases steady state consumption will be lower than it 
इट विल बी देन द गोल्डन रूल ऑफ कैपिटल दैट मीन्स सी स्टार लेस देन सी स्टार गोल्ड क्लियर थैंक यू एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल